Saturday are online. Big up to Manchester City, car. we are the champions. Big up Raheem Sterling. Big up the, the whole team, you know. Everybody Hi guys, welcome to On The Line, I'm Alex Jordan. Well, we have one party of an episode coming up for you. It's a husband and wife team who are artists, musicians, celebrities, and internet sensations. Ladies and gentlemen, Wayne Marshall and Tammy Chin. Please meet the Mitchells. I'm so thrilled to welcome onto the show <laughs> Um, Tammy Chin and Wayne Mitchell, which is very difficult for me to say because I want to say Tammy Mitchell and Wayne Chin for some reason. <laughs> uh, before I even let you speak, let me introduce you to the Caribbean region who must know you very well by now. But of course, individually, they are international recording artists in their own right. They're a husband and wife team. And since the COVID lockdown, they are YouTube superstars. So I'm so happy to welcome you to the show. Hi, guys. Hi. What's up? <laughs> happy to be thank here. Thank you for coming on the line. I know how busy you are. No, thank you for having us. I'm so glad we could make this happen. Trust me. Yeah, it's man. a good vibe. You know, we love you a long time. And, and it's always an honor for me to be on one of my favorite stations. My TV <laughs> barely leaves Sportsmax, by the way. Ma, 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 ma. Sportsmax <laughs> for life. Oh, yeah, yes. I will tell the region briefly that, in fact, I am, um, when I lived in Jamaica, I obviously knew Wayne Marshall. I'm a dance hall idiot. You can't tell me any <laughs> music I don't know. And I knew Tammy Chin as an artist too, but Tammy and I also became friends because um, she, you own the salon. Your dressing yeah. salon where I went. Yeah. And in fact, yeah. I had to go and get a, a, a hairdo for this I interview see because I was like, no, no, you no. Look lovely. <laughs> Wayne and Tammy, you're both international recording artists. Wayne, you're still really into your music. And Tammy, you've maybe sidelined it for now. Can yeah. you tell me briefly about that decision? Because I went back, right? I was like, yo, Tammy Chin sing over and over again. <laughs> yo, that tune lot. I mean, so much <laughs> talent. Yeah, Not only so talented, but you had reached the pinnacle, signed yeah. by an international recording artist. So just tell me a bit about that decision to give that a break and, and, and do something else. You know, I don't know what to tell you about it other than, you know, um, for anybody who knows me, I am... I am what I like to call a proper multi-potentialite. So it means that I will always be the person who's gonna be trying on all kinds of different hats, doing all kinds of different things for the rest of my life. So when it came to music, there was no, you know, sad or down or, you know, kind of like I'm done with music. It was just, I'm ready to try something else. And at that time, the, something else I was ready to try was business. I opened up a hair salon. Since then I started a podcast. YouTube channel, like who knows what else will happen. So, you know, that's just my journey and it has no epic story behind it other than I was ready to try something new. And you do all of them very well. Clearly you're liking you. the editing. I, I laughed uh, when I heard you say that because I enjoy editing. There's something oh, really satisfying about well, it, right? We're Gemini sisters, so maybe it has something to do with that. <laughs> Indeed, we are born on the same birthday we same, found out, yeah. which is a real treasure. <laughs> same <laughs> birthday. Wow. Yeah, we we will not tell the world with whom we twins. share our birthday. No. We will not tell the world. <laughs> um, that's a nice little secret. Wayne Marshall, you like sports box, you say? What? Sports, I'm a thing, man. Whether it be cricket, whether it be football, um, tennis, anything, you know, I always just love enjoy watching a good competitive um, sports game, you know. Big up to Manchester City, car. we oh, are the champions. God. Big up Raheem <laughs> Sterling. Big up the, the whole team, you know. Big up Pep Guardiola, you know. So, yeah, man. So, I mean, even as far back as high school days, you know, I used to play sports. I used to play, I used to captain under 14 for Wilmer's boys, under 16. Sorry, football? Um, no, man, this is cricket. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could argue that I'm a better cricketer. I was always a better cricketer on paper than I was a footballer, but I, I play both sports and have a avid love for both. Oh, amazing. So, 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 what, so those were you a days now. Bowler? Tell me a bit about your cricket. Yeah, man, my ball, my ball half spin and my bat like, you know, bat one down, so I bat like third or fourth, you know, stabilize it, you know? Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so hang on, let's, let's talk about that, Tammy, because obviously he, he loves all sports and interested in just the competition, which is a lot like me. What's your view yeah. on sports, Tammy? And, and do you not enjoy it as much as Wayne? No, I do. I do love it. Um, I wouldn't say I love it as much as Wayne. I think being married to Wayne has made me love it even more. But I'm naturally competitive, so I love 
to watch a competition or anything competitive. The most recent thing we love to watch together is F1. Um, so anything like that, I love. Uh, Wayne is responsible for taking me to my first ever cricket match. And I remember going to Savannah Park with him and just thinking, that was the best day ever. I used to think cricket was the most boring thing, but you just have to have the right person <laughs> yeah. uh, telling you what it's about. And um, ever since, I do love to, to watch out with him. Um, and I love football. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good match. I pretend I don't really know as much as he does. Like, I still don't understand offside. I have to tell you. I can't no. seem to explain. You know what? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to take the opportunity to explain that. Not only Please. to you, but to maybe viewers who won't. I don't if, get if it. I, if, I, if I put something in your hand like this and told you to hit it, what's the most natural feeling? Would it, was the natural feeling to hit across your body? Or yes. Would the natural, exactly. No, hold on. Hold on, exactly. hold on, hold on. So Alex, across hold your on. body, hold on, no Ian. No, so across your Alex, body is the answer. Alex, hold, let, me, let me stop you. I, I now know that you're technically talking about offside and onside in cricket. She's yes. talking oh, about the football. offside rule in football. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. There's okay, an the offside rule in cricket. But the offside There's rule in football outside. is so basic, Tammy. Nothing in football field. is complicated. She said it's so basic. <laughs> it's so God. basic. Don't even he try. He does not Alex, explain it well. Please I'm don't even try. I'm going to call you off air and you explain okay. it. But hold on. Let me explain to the Caribbean how deep my roots go with, with cricket and, and with, with sports just in general. Yes. Picture this. As a 14, 15-year-old bowling to a young, enthusiastic Christopher Gale. What? Right? And not only that, but on a patch of dirt that has barely any grass. He's shaking. He's so excited. Stones. <laughs> no, I was shaking ball into Chris Gale. I would right? imagine. So, like, th that is my first, like, introduction into competitive cricket. And this man was a beast from that time. And he was so dominant that I would, like, think to myself, this must be a world-class talent unfolding in front of my eyes. And so said, he just always went from strength to strength through the ranks. Say, likewise for um, Marlon Samuels, he was at KC, faced him a lot. Wavell Hines was at Camperdown, faced him a lot. It was just so exciting to see these young raw talents make the transition to international cricket and make a name for themselves and just keep on keeping on and doing big things. You know, it's such a privilege being born and raised in a region that's small enough that we can rub shoulders mm. with world-class um, athletes like you say, Wayne. Time now for our first break. I hope you're enjoying the Mitchells as much as I am. After the break, you don't want to miss this because Wayne and Tammy give me their thoughts on athletes turned musicians. Big up to Manchester City car. We oh are the champions. God. Big up Brian <laughs> Sterling. Big up the, the whole team, you know? Hi guys, welcome back. We've got Wayne Marshall and Tammy Chin on the line. Whenever I fall, you live me. You mentioned Chris Gale, and Tammy started this interview by talking about being a multi-potentialite. She, you know, she can do lots of things well in a high level. And we see a, a player like Chris Gale at the sort of towards the end of his career, he's still playing and still playing at a high level, but he's now a dancehall international recording artist. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, one or two of his tunes I really like. I want your thoughts on that, perhaps the Bolts, the Chris Gales getting into music. Uh, yeah, what's your take? Do you like it? What do you think about it? There's no limitation. You can't put a limit on a man's dream or a man's vision for himself. And not because a man has played cricket for the last 20 years doesn't mean that he has he doesn't have a passion or a ta talent mm -hmm. or a knack for music. Or just a desire. Or just and a desire just to explore. Go towards that. And why do we why do we have to do everything at the same level? So, you know, uh, I look at both, for example. We're talking about uh, world-class athlete here we're talking about highest levels of everything it's so sad that we're not going to compare his music to wanting to reach those levels but this is just this is just something he wants to go after why do we have to now put everything at this level when you know it, it doesn't have to be that way i think it's fun i i totally recommend it i think it gives them a lot of joy and why not where the universe boss, they look out for a universe boss and Wayne Marshall color combination <laughs> coming to you. But even Wayne, Wayne have you done one? Wayne? You should do one. 
Yeah, no, no. I mean, trust me, whenever I see him, I know he's going to say, yo, Marshall, I'm ready for you now, you know. I'm ready for you over the music side, you know. <laughs> Remember, me better than you in a cricket, you know, so you better than me in a music, so you have to get me up the ladder. <laughs> that sounds just like he would say that. Um, and since we're talking about music, let's stay with music, you know. One of the reasons I love Sports Max so much, and when I went there, it was such a privilege to host that anchor show, was that music and sport are like cousins, right? They, they just fit mm. together like hand and glove. Let's talk about the music. You're talking about potential duets with sports stars. Big up Usain Bolt too, man. I like your whole flex. Mm -hmm. I would like a duet with Wayne and Tammy Mitchell. When, Tammy, <laughs> when you were wishing Wayne happy birthday and you all kind of fool about with that song there. That, if, you, if you see me in tears, watch it from the beginning. I, I must have rewind that video three times. You sing so beautifully together. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know when we'll ever collaborate again because we collaborate all the time, just, you know, in fun. So that desire is met all the time. And I'm always the one saying, you know, why does everything have to be like, you know, recorded in a studio? We sing at home. What's the big deal, you know? But it's yeah. something that people ask us about all the time. Um, I think we should do it. Yeah. I saw an old song with y'all together where Tammy was looking super sexy. Yeah. And you know the one? And, and Wayne was yes. giving her all the eyes yes. through the door. What's the, what's the tune? It's a lovely oh, movie. Arguing, arguing or something. Yeah. <laughs> arguing. Yeah. Cute. That, was our, that was the last time we collaborated. <laughs> <laughs> but I think I think you all should redo that now after all the children because yes. there's something very romantic and sexy about that. Still arguing years ago, Tammy, because obviously what happens in Jamaica is pretty local to Jamaica. But living there, I got the sense that there was all this rumor and speculation at the time mm -hmm. you all got together that Wayne Marshall killed Tammy Chin career, <laughs> right? Which makes me laugh a lot. But the thing is, because I'm sure that Wayne Marshall really fired up Tammy Chin's yes. career. Y'all, y'all yes. being together gives you both strength. But I have to say, and I hate to sound like the rest of them, Tammy, you can real sing, you know? Not Thank in a little you. bit, not in a little bit. So when you're ready to get back to it, let me do the thing. All right, Thank next you. thing. During the pandemic now, you guys decide to start. Can you tell me about how you created this reality show? Because I started watching it right from the beginning. So I don't really remember my life yeah. without it. Well, um, the truth is that a year ago when, you know, uh, this whole thing happened, because that's what I call it now, this whole thing. The flood. <laughs> it's a whole thing. <laughs> it's a whole thing. Um, you know, we were at home. And, you know, to be honest with you, vlogging is something that I thought about doing for many, many, many years, but just never really took the plunge and could never really imagine Wayne doing it or being there and, and being a part of it. And I was like, well, when I started the vlog, I really intended it for, for it to be really um possibly just around me the kids and every now and again win and i just turned my camera on us and said well let's see what happens i learned to edit on my phone and um here we are over a year later almost or maybe at 20 million views right now and it's just insane that it's just grown the way it has and that people have taken on to it 20 million views yeah. on, yeah. Actually, no, honestly, <laughs> honestly guys this morning, I was telling someone else about the Meet the Mitchells. I had told you all years ago, remember I told you this yeah. couple, I love how they, they operate together. And then the guy said to me, wait, it's on Netflix? Yeah. <laughs> but it's not on Netflix, right? There's something no. else called... Meet There's the something called the Mitchells versus the Machines on Netflix. And, and we've, been, we've been laughing about that recently. <laughs> well, don't laugh too long because I definitely could see that sort yeah. of next level for you Who guys knows? because the show is, is so wonderful. Uh, Wayne, how did you take to showing the world your life? Well, at first I was I was hesitant um, until we, we started and then I realized that it was just it was so safe, you know, so much support and, you know, just even certain things that I held close to my chest and guarded over the years, I was able to now get off my chest and and, you know, speak my truth and you know, the best part about this thing is that I don't have to be anybody else. I can just show up exactly as who I am and yeah. people accept me for that, love me for that. And th that's what makes it easy. It's not scripted. It's just literally as the day progresses, we just turn on our camera on certain moments and that's meet the Mitchells and people wow. just, you know, love and support us. And as I say, it's just that authenticity that, that we're allowed to, to portray that is for me the, the, the selling point. It comes a little bit like therapy almost by the sounds of things from you. I would like Big to time. say, um, Wayne and, and Tammy, your reality show is so useful and so important on so many levels. 
watching reality shows historically, the thing that has got my goat the whole time is that the people are so shallow and so mm. into nothingness. And I think that what really appeals to people about your show is that you guys have a lot of substance and character. I love Wayne's communes with nature. I love mm. different characters. Any thought, Wayne, on developing those characters like um, Chef It Wayne? And, and there's another, there's another guy. There's another guy who does DIY like, Wayne. Utility stuff. DIY DIY Wayne. Wayne, man. DIY Wayne, man. It's always development and it's always evolution and it's always me trying to be a better me. You know, I'm the only person I'm in competition with is myself and my past self. Always trying to get better, always trying to evolve. And here we have no. Sometimes you get calls from companies and saying, yo, I see DIY win and I want to send him some tools. And you know what I mean? So, so they're out there supporting my journey. And it's, it's, it's awesome. You know, I'm, I have started to cook. Like, so Chef It Wayne is obviously just one year old, is as old as the vlog is. And here I am now grilling and, you know, doing making fires. I'm like, look making at fire man. outside and all kinds of things. So. No, we love that. We love that. But I mean, y'all are joking and you probably had so many interviews, you might be a bit jaded, but I can't tell you how important it is for West Indian men and West Indian cultures to watch you interact. Tammy has this big dominant personality and even how you deal with bullying, because I got so into the show at one stage, I was reading all the comments and a lot of the comments would be about, no, no, man, we ain't a man, man. Look, Tammy, I run things. And your responses to those, which you took the time to respond to, were so valuable. And, and, and sometimes Wayne would say things like, no, nah, man, I saw, I saw Tammy stay, man. You have to just know yeah. how she go. And then, and, then sometimes you, and then sometimes you would say, Tammy, really? You find so, shoot. Yes. Like, no offense taken. And I feel like there's so much benefit for gender dynamic coming yes. from you guys. Your comment. Yeah, agreed. And I, I think in, in, the, in the Caribbean, it's so, you know, we literally take those gender-based roles very seriously. The man is this and the woman is that. And, you know, we are part of uh, the generation that's not abiding by that anymore. <laughs> like, you know, I'm as much the provider protector of our home as Wayne is, um, just as much as even in parenting, Wayne is as much of the soft place to land as I am, you know? Um, so I think it was important to kind of show that you can, you don't have to always meet the expectation or even what society has put on you and you can move past it, you know? And, and even the way that we show each other love or the way Wayne deals with me on certain things or vice versa, it's, I didn't realize how unseen that was and how people hadn't seen something like that or even so our relationship with Momo uh the one of the most important people in our homes who has literally who helps us to raise our children people hadn't seen relationships like that and I grew up that way so it's kind of just on uh, uh just opening the doors and saying you know this is possible I the, the countless women who say to me I'm singing to my child now I sing the good morning song like that makes me so happy because that's something I take for granted I sing to my kids a silly song for bath time, for bedtime, for morning time. And now mommies are doing that because they see it and they're like, oh, that's available to me. You know, or we can softness. resolve conflict in a certain way, or, you know? Yeah, man, there's a softness and a compassion that our region needs. Hi guys, time for another quick break, but you see the vibe, you see how the thing is said. You do not want to miss a moment. Some deep reasoning when we come back. Online. Big up to Manchester City car. We oh are the champions. God. Big up Raheem <laughs> Sterling. Big up the whole team, you know? Hi guys, welcome back to On The Line. I'm Alex Jordan. Wayne Marshall and Tammy Chin on the line and talking gender roles. The issue is not so much women knowing that they can assert and have to do a million roles because a sweet stay for weed a whole while. The yeah. real issue is men Wayne, Wayne Marshall, can you explain to the men of the Caribbean and beyond how Tammy is not emasculating to you, that her power <laughs> or whatever happens in there does not detract from yeah. your manliness? I, I mean, I don't want to dictate to you. Maybe it does. I, I just want your thoughts. No, no, no. I mean, we've always shared responsibilities and, you know, we kind of share the space, you know, like, as I say, I'm not making outside entities affect what we have here. This is our dynamic and this is how it works for us, you know? And I feel like it's a good example for, for Caribbean men to understand that you don't always have to be, you know what I mean? Trying to dominate or, you know, 
listen, you listen to me or you don't talk <laughs> after me and we share opinions and we share, um, you know, we have, we have level conversations back and forth and her opinion is valid just as mine is valid. And it's no, I don't even look at it in any kind of way, like to say, is emasculate. I haven't even seen a lot of those comments to be honest, but I mean, as I say, we are us, you know what I mean? And I, I'm trying to live in a household that is unified and is glued together by love, you know, for a lifetime, not just a five year time and they will see what go on. Like the vows say lifetime, you know? So anyway, how I feel like, you know, to cultivate that type of a, of a, of a um, you know, uh, what you call it now, of a scenario, uh, yeah. environment. That's what, that's how I will do it. And that's how I'm led, you know? I mean, just to interject as well, as the dominant person, <laughs> <laughs> people always are like, she always tries to tell me what to think. Um, <laughs> I'm like, yeah. No, but, um, you know, we know each other so well too. So sometimes Wayne is finishing up my thoughts or, and this is something we speak about, but, you know, it takes a lot of uh, security in who he is and his role and what that looks like. And knowing that I'm not trying to overstep and him know who he married. I am very loud and overbearing and I talk a lot, but that's who I've always been. <laughs> and he has always been able to, I don't want to say handle that because I don't think I'm something to be handled or managed. No, but no. he knows how to take care of that. And he also that. enjoys you. He enjoys he you. <laughs> exactly. and, that, and that is exactly. what makes us enjoy. We're like, yeah, y'all catch kids yeah. together. I, I just want to make one more point about this because I come from a very happy marriage and watching your vlog makes me remember my family life. And one of the things is enjoying one another. You are brethren. Mm, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, this year is 12 years. We're married in Alex. And let me tell you something is grace of God, but also the amount of friendship that is, is this is built on and the laughter, because it's not without its hardship. I mean, we have had it, we see it. I mean, trust me, we'll go through it too, you we'll know? Um, but at the same time, we have this, this really wonderful friendship that has helped us. It's not love that's kept us together. Let's put it that way. It's this other thing. It's this like for each other and this it's respect. It's a bond, it's a know? bond. And, and then the truth is we only showcase 20, 25 minutes of, of the day. day. There's so much more to us <laughs> as a couple and there's so much more depth to our relationship that is, we don't have the opportunity to show. Maybe if meeting each other could be three hours, we would make it, but oh, it's not. God. It doesn't make sense for anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I, it feels almost useless to ask you how you've been managing in this period, uh, the COVID period, because the, as a multi-potentialite, it seems that, would, would it be fair to say y'all are thriving? I mean, you've mm. now created this brand and entity, Meet the Mitchells, which is sort of mutual and family brand success. Yeah. And the thriving is just beyond. It's not just what people think. I think I think our family has thrived just even inwardly, which a lot of families spoke about. Our marriage, I feel like, became just something. So so apart from it being a success, I feel like personally we had um, this this crazy uh, success as a family emotionally that because of covid and so you know it, it it turned into other things and and we now have this business and this brand that came kind of out of nowhere um but we don't take it lightly either you know and we're just like at the same time trying to be we're so grateful for that because you know gosh it could have it could have been something completely different for us as well and 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 still a lot of days we feel lost and confused and we don't know what to do next or what will will happen. And we've been in the business long enough to know that, you know, tables turn and winds change and we'll see. So we are at the point of just riding it till the wheels fall off. <laughs> it's sweet. It's sweet as ever. Please do. Please. You can give me a little piece of that duet. Just a little small piece like <laughs> here. From Look at this. Look at this face. Oh, that's I'm so I'm here. not that's doing so it. Weird. I'm not doing it. Check cool, it out. Cool, 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 cool. In harmony. In harmony. Much. No. I don't know why I love you. Did you sing it? <laughs> no, but Tommy, you sing it sweet too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Shy, you know. Or, you know. Yeah, you're right. But guess what? It's already on the internet. I don't know much. But I know why I love you. Yeah, man, it's sweet. Last thing is, maybe we're going to have the Olympics this summer. Who knows? Everything is so fluid. But I have to ask Jamaicans because 
you know, y'all don't play with the Olympics. It's, it's gold medals you come from for. And in fact, it was one of the, it was one of the most striking things for me as a, as a Barbadian moving to Jamaica, that, you know, a Barbadian is just excited to see A, a West Indian in the race, anybody from the region, and B, even a bronze medal. And I watched the Olympics many years with my Jamaican colleagues who would push up them face at a silver medal. And I said, are you kidding? Are you, you know, that's be second best in the globe from this yeah. little rock. And yeah. their response to me was, no nah, man, second only count if Jamaica come first too. <laughs> <laughs> you come from a culture of gold medals, of winning. Uh, do you watch the Olympics as a family? Are you interested following any particular athletes? Yeah. Definitely, definitely. And um, I want to big up the next generation of, of young athletes. Yes. We start from a very young age and we start from um, world-class coaches are underground using world-class techniques and so, uh, maybe some techniques of their own, you know. So we just have that knack of, of, of like thinking the sport and, and, and applying the physicality to the sport as well, you know. And a culture of winning. You don't, and, and yeah, you are not taking, and, and in fact, when I was talking this morning on my blog, excited to inter interview Tammy and Wayne, I said, you know, Tammy Chin, you know the sister Tessa, she yes, win the voice. To win. <laughs> no, listen, she didn't place in the voice. She didn't no. appear on the voice. She <laughs> take one the prize, the big prize, like, to make yeah. it not easy. Yeah, yeah no, com super competitive. Yeah, that's yeah. in our nature. Yeah. That's in our nature. Winning matters to us. But we look for hoping. Fingers crossed, the Olympics will happen as long as it can be safe for wow. everybody, for all the athletes, for, for all of the officials and everybody else who, yeah. who will be supporting. And we'll be watching. We'll definitely be watching for sure. Yeah, with right. pure excitement. Trust okay, me. Okay, good, good. <laughs> Guys, what a pleasure and what an honor to have you on the show. I, do, I don't want to sound trite when I say this. I mean it wholeheartedly. As a busy person, I can only imagine how busy you are between your family or whatever and the, the, the popularity of you. I saw you with Bertis, uh, Bell and thing on the TV. I watched all your interviews. So I know you've done this a million times. Thanks for doing it again today with me on the line. No Thank problem. you so much for having us. Thank you. Plenty love. <laughs> Respect. Bye. Respect. Well, there you have it. Wayne Marshall and Tammy Jin. I enjoyed them so much as I'm sure you did too. Join me next Wednesday, right here, same time, same place, for another edition of On The Line. Can you hear you? How come you're you looking like that? Or maybe I am the wrong way around. Maybe I must no be like this. I mean, I am the wrong way around. Is this better? I think so. I thought it was meant to be length. Wait. Glory to thee, oh.